So we're here. We're doing a thing about a thing that has to do with drama, that also has to do with video games, that also has to do with Twitter, I mean X, and also has to do with Dreamcast Kai. Now that that's over, let's talk about it. So I've been on X uh, Twitter for uh, the last few days. Uh, I hopped on. Um, first time I actually started using Twitter in a very long time, a uh, few years at least. And I hopped on and uh, I come to realize that the system wars is still going on. You're probably asking, sir, what is a system wars? Well, back in the day on the playground, little Jimmy and little Timmy used to fight about who has a better console. Was it Super Nintendo or was it Genesis? And it didn't matter because the kid probably got beat up and that was me. That was that was me. I was the one getting beat up. I was Timmy. Um, I, I used to be a part of this culture about 10 years ago when the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 came out in the Wii. Um, I used to hop on a uh, forum on GameSpot called System Wars. And basically what we do is, is like dick measuring contests where we try to say, hey, Xbox is better than PlayStation. Or no, PlayStation is better than Xbox. And then you had the GigaChad PC players that says, hey, fuck you. I have the games. I'm better. Which they're right. They're kind of right. Um, <laughs> but after a few years, I kind of stopped doing that because come to realize that I'm pledging allegiance to a billion dollar company that gives zero shits at what I have to say and only wants one thing. And that's money. And it's cringe. It's really cringe. Back in the day, it was cringe, and today it's cringe. But I hopped on X, and guess what? It's still alive. It's still alive. And I also come to find out that Sony PlayStation uh, users still is really fucking toxic. Really bad. It's just as toxic as it was back in the day. Now, a lot of them think that I'm some kind of Xbox um, <laughs> loyalist, which I'm not. I'm not. I own the Xbox. I own the PlayStation. I own the Wii. Well, not the Wii, the Switch. I own all the systems. I can actually show you. Like, I have all the old systems. I have a huge collection of PS2 games, PlayStation 1 games, PS3 games. I've got my hard drive full of PS5, PS4 games, and my Xboxes. I, I just love gaming. I love gaming. Um, and it took me a while to realize that, hey, who gives a fuck what I play the play on the platform? I, I don't really care. Like, I don't really care much for exclusives, but one thing I will say this, and I've seen a lot of people talking about this, uh, there is rumors currently that Halo is coming to PlayStation. Now, these are rumors. Rumors spread wildly right now. We are on the precipice of the Xbox showcase here this weekend, as well as the Summer Gaming Fest, where there's going to be a whole lot of things announced. Now, usually about this time, you get all kinds of crazy rumors. Uh, we don't know if they're true until it happens. I don't see, me personally, I don't see Halo going to PlayStation. I think that'd be like the equivalent of PlayStation throwing the last of us on Xbox. It's just not going to happen. Uh, Master Chief is the icon for Xbox. I don't see them throwing them over to PlayStation, but I could be wrong. Xbox may go third party, but I could be wrong. But since we're still talking about this, we're going to talk about Dreamcast guy a little bit because he's kind of the um, the main guy here we're <laughs> talking about and who I've been interacting with. Now, you're probably wondering who Dreamcast guy is. Uh, Dreamcast guy, he's this guy right here. Uh, he's kind of quirky, uh, he's kind of funny, he's um, goofy, and he <laughs> over-exaggerates things and does have an extreme bias when it comes to liking PlayStation over Xbox, and it can be proven if you take a look at uh, this guy's videos, you can probably see, like, um, <laughs> he makes a lot of videos about Xbox and how he thinks they're falling apart, which, you know, that's very possible. They could be. I doubt it. I don't think a company is going to spend, you know, a hundred million, a hundred trillion, billion, sorry, uh, dollars on a ton of studios. And I'm talking about Activision, Bethesda, Minecraft, Notch, and all these other acquisitions. I don't think they're going to spend that kind of money just to throw it on another system. Now, there might be cases such as Sea of Thieves, Hi-Fi Rush, Grounded, where it makes sense to share it to other consoles. Especially if the game's not doing too well, it's not a bad idea to throw it on another system. That way more people will play the game. Um, 
But right now, Dreamcast is in a little bit of trouble currently because he is actually in a little bit of a spat with this guy. His name is Paris. Paris is part of the kind of funny games cast. He's a Xbox uh commentator he's a big xbox boy he's a big old xbox boy i don't see anything wrong with that i personally don't subscribe to kind of funny um i used to it's just not for me anymore um and i usually go taking a look at like other users other youtube creators uh like oh yikes it's alex or whatever his name the guy called me a retard on uh twitter <laughs> I, I don't i'm i don't have any beef with him it was my fault but um, Jim Cass guy's having a little bit of problems with this guy. Um, I guess what happened was um, there was a meeting at some kind of um, con or something like that where um, Dreamcast guy made a video and basically talked about Paris. And Paris confronted him at the uh, convention and said, hey, I, you making that video gave me a lot of hate. And there's a little bit of friction between them. In regards to the messaging that's going out from Dreamcast guy, uh, basically making uh, Paris kind of look like a jackass, which, in my opinion, they're both jackasses, and I'm just paraphrasing that. There's more to it, and I'm not about to go completely into it because it's a waste of time. So I figured, hey, go on X, check it out, it's there, or check out Dreamcast guy's video, then try to find Paris and look it up yourself. I think you can learn a little bit more if you hop on Xbox. I just, on X. I'm calling X Xbox. I do got Xbox in my brain. Um, yeah, there's a lot of crazy things going on with um, Dreamcast guy. Uh, he's getting called out a lot by uh, Xbox users just to the fact that he is showing bias to PlayStation. I actually talked to him as well. Um, you know, he makes these posts all the time about... Uh, doom and gloom for xbox and basically the one thing i started i say hey i think you should be more genuine but clicks are clicks one reason i say that is the fact that there has been rumors i'm not sure if it's true or not it seems like it might be uh, i have seen um different people post different screenshots of uh conversations and they're saying that what Dreamcast puts out it gets Xbox, he only does it because he knows it gets clicks from the PlayStation crowd. And I understand where you're coming from. Uh, if you know you have some niche that you like and you're getting content and people are watching it, especially if it's a fanboy, more power to you. But I think the message you're sending out is, you know, we should worship, you know, one plastic box. Um, in my opinion, in my opinion, you know, a lot of people on X are saying Xbox needs to go away. I don't think that needs to happen. Reason why, well, we have currently the big three. We have Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation. Uh, each one of them, they have their own games, and they have their own eco ecosystems, and they have their own fans. You take one away, that's less competition. And with less competition means less creativity. And that's really bad. Right now, the gaming industry, and I did say this, I said the game industry is dying. And the reason why I said this, and I had this in the conversation here uh, with Dreamcast Guy and a few other people, and I'll include the link to this, that way you guys can view it, uh, the whole conversation. But, you know, right now the gaming industry is at a bad spot. Just think about it. the last two or three years, all you hear is acquisition, acquisition, acquisition. Then you hear studio closures. Then you hear cancellation of video games. Then you see that the industry is moving towards uh, live service gaming. And that's a lot of people don't like that. Just recently, we have an article that Suicide Squad has flopped. And we're waiting to see if Rocksteady Games is going to get thrown down the toilet by WB because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. So Rockstar, not Rockstar, but Rocksteady currently is working to make a director's cut of Hogwarts Legacy while also pitching a single player game, which I don't want Rocksteady to go. They made one of the best trilogies of uh, superhero games ever made. In my opinion, they did great and I don't want them to go away. And a lot of people are losing their jobs and people keep on going back and thinking this is just an Xbox thing, especially recently where we lost Tango Gameworks and Arcane and a few other studios that actually had decent games. X, not Redfall. Go away, Redfall. Just go away. 
don't don't come back. Um, Hi-Fi Rush. I love Tango Gameworks, right? Um, I love them. I love them. I, I love Evil Within 1 and 2. I like Ghostwire Tokyo. Really liked Hi-Fi Rush. Uh, we kind of lost a special studio. Um, and it goes a show. Even if you make a great game, it doesn't matter what platform you're on. You're not safe at all. You're not safe at all from uh, closure. You're not safe from losing your job. I don't want that for the industry. I don't want there to be this division that, you know, people like Dreamcast guy, even though if he says he doesn't mean it, there's a message stating there should be just one platform, and that's PlayStation. Now, I would be saying the same thing if Xbox was making PlayStation going out. I don't want that. I want them all to stay together, right? Um, and the only actual games we're getting that are great, we're getting things like Stellar Blade. A lot of people are shitting on uh, the new Hellblade game because it's not getting a lot of plays right now. Uh, again, that's not a AAA game. That's not a AAA game. Believe it or not, that is not a AAA game. Uh, that's still a small studio. Small studio. They've only re released a few games, uh, but they're not really AAA. It's more of a double A. I would almost say that the same for Stellar Blade. Um, they don't have these big giant budgets to go with. I don't think uh, Hellblade had a gigantic budget compared to something like, I don't know, some live service bullshit like Skull and Bones or Destiny or uh, anything like that. These smaller games like Hellblade and Stellar, Stellar Blade and stuff like that, um, you know, they're using what they got to make what they can. It, of course, of course, Stellar Blade and Hellblade look fucking fantastic. They look like they're great AAA games, but they're not. They're not really AAA. They're just AA that looks like AAA. You can debate me all you want, but it's just not what it is. Whenever I think AAA, I treat, think about the slush that comes out, like the walking simulators, like The Last of Us, which, don't get me wrong, I love The Last of Us, but a lot of the PlayStation exclusives have the same fucking formula. It's 30, 30 hours of uh, story and two hours of gameplay. And yes, I'm exaggerating because it's true. There's not a lot of gameplay and there's more watching than gaming. So I like interactive movie, movies. And that's fine. That's fine. Uh, you can disagree, hit that dislike button, say I'm a fucking loser. That's fine. That's uh, I played them all. I'll give you my game tag. That way you can be like, oh, this motherfucker never played the games. And you'll be like, oh, this motherfucker did play the games. Um... Oh, I, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want more and more of these games. Like, I don't want games that are built for journalists and not for the gamers. Um, and this is another thing we'll touch because we're all over the place. So it originally started out a with a uh, video about Dreamcast and it's going down the rabbit hole of what I've discovered on X. Um, but, you know, I, I do love playstation's games i do love them i love last of us except for two that was not very good um gameplay was amazing graphics was amazing story it just didn't need to exist uh but a lot of the playstation games do follow the same formula it's a uh, interactive movie basically uh where uh cinematics uh take over for gameplay and that's been going on for a while we're slowly moving to that direction where Games are more cinematic than they are playable, and that's that's fine. That's fine. I played a Hideo Kojima game, so I'm used to it. Uh, I don't want these games to go away, right? I want them to say, I want more God of War. I want more Uncharted. I want more Halo and Gears. I want all that shit. I want Fable. I want Perfect Dark. I want Jack and Daxter. I want all that shit. Siphon Filter. Why the fuck is there not a Siphon Filter game in 2024? What the hell? We don't even have a kill zone or a resistance. What the fuck? What the fuck? Sony, make this shit happen, right? Make it happen. Make it happen. Give me resistance. Give me kill zone. We want that shit. We don't want live service stuff. Uh, Hell, Hell Divers, though, it's great. Concord looks like shit. Uh, and we've already talked about that on X a few times if you've been following me there. Um, but to go back to what was talking about, because I'm, I'm just going to keep going off because I'm just discovering all these things on X. Um, <laughs> I just want to talk about everything. And 
I always lose track in my videos, but this is solely it was originally about Dreamcast Guy. Uh, but Dreamcast Guy is getting called out for kind of showing bias and kind of pushing a narrative that Xbox is a dead brand um, or they're dying when it's not completely true. Uh, again, Xbox has made some poor decisions, but also has Nintendo and PlayStation. They've all made bad decisions. All the big publishers, EA, Ubisoft, not Capcom. Capcom, you're doing good, bro. Uh, Konami, um, they're all done poor things. And the only true, true soul of the video game industry right now is indie games. And that's true. You might disagree with me. But take a look on Xbox, and a lot of people are shitting on this game. There's a game called Hypercharge, which is like a toy box come to life first person shooter. It looks really good. It looks really good. Um, there was a story where this game got to the top five um, play playable games on Xbox. A lot of people were like, oh, it's only got 50,000 copies sold. Well,. People are shitting off that because they're saying that's a low bar. It's also on Game Pass, uh, which is another thing. Um, my thing is, why are you shitting on a studio that's having some kind of success? An independent studio, their first game that I know of. They come out, people are playing it, they are liking it, the studio is happy, they're getting a little bit of money, that way they can continue development. You don't see stories like this because a lot of people throw it out the window. Especially on X, where you see the Sony fanboys shitting on it, saying it's a low bar to set. When the fact is, you cannot compare a game like Helldivers to this game. Helldivers is an overwhelmingly successful game. It's already a franchise. It already had its time in the limelight. Hypercharge is a brand new game. Very good from what I can tell. I haven't got to play it, but I have it downloaded. I will be playing it. Uh, and I will be supporting these people in the future because I want games like this to exist. Uh, I don't want some video uh, guy, some guy on YouTube or X telling you, hey, you can only play PlayStation games and be a real gamer. That's not fucking how it works. Uh, I'm a neutral party here, and I like to think that uh, all we want are video games that 10 years from now, we can remember all the good times we had with them. So whenever I say... Dreamcast guy, be more genuine. I mean, be more genuine. If you're picking a side, stick to that side. Don't change the narrative. Don't flip-flop. You can't be both. I mean, well, you can't. You can be everything. You can be one. You can be one, right? You can be one person that likes a video. I, my message is fucking terrible. We can all be people that plays video games together. We love video games. We want video games to, industry to grow. We want good games. We don't want bad games. Uh, that's my. That's basically where I'm going with this. This is a long, convoluted piece of shit video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but oh, uh, oh no, it's Alex. Um, <laughs> oh, oh man. Uh, yeah. You're cool. All right, guys. I'll let you go.